Next, in this incarnation, I move up to vice president. The president has gone to a state funeral here in uh, London, and so that leaves the vice president in charge. So when the stuff hits the fan, it's, it's I who have to helm the um, decisions in Washington. I'm always surprised at the success of movies. Uh, you go in and you do them and you walk away and wait and see whether or not they resonate with a paying public. Uh, you can do films and have an invited audience who will applaud at the end and then it will die when someone has to pay to see it. So uh, I never set up like a benchmark for it. These movies, they almost formulaic. You know that if you've got enough explosions and enough um, <laughs> blood, uh, it's going to do well with a younger market, and that's the biggest market. He has um, apparently quite a successful politician, and he was Speaker of the House, or Speaker of the House, is not a position generally that is short term. You've been around for a while before you get to that position. Uh, and from there to uh, Vice President of the United States, uh, I, I think of him as an accomplished politician. He's got some kind of thing going on. What I don't know, I don't, I don't know if he's married as kids, grandchildren, where he lives. <laughs> Sean O'Brien and uh, Robert Forrester uh, were in the first one, were in uh, Olympus Has Fallen, so they're known entities to me. Uh, uh, Jackie Earl Haley, I've seen so much of his work, it's almost like I've known him, just that kind of thing with actors, you know. Um, and uh, everybody else is um, new, but uh, we all kind of have, you know, when you get good actors, it's, there were no surprises. We, we can sit and decide on how we want a scene to move along. And um, very often, and particularly with uh, Babak, we were able to um, say, you know, we were able to have a lot of input. He has big ears, which just stands him in good stead. I like, it. I like directors who listen, uh, and he's one of those. So uh, I, I, you know, quite happy with the cast. You know, Sandra, it's just like a um, yeoman, you know, just get in, do the work. If you work with four or five different directors, you'll have four or five different, generally four or five different approaches to the work. Um, the uh, Olympus was uh, directed by Antoine Fuqua. Uh, quick, decisive. Um, uh, Babak, uh, I think he's also uh, quick and decisive. And decisive, we say, well, wh what does that mean? It means you know what you want and you know when you've gotten it. Uh, some directors, uh, particularly earlier ones, by that, that I mean younger ones, uh, will shoot a lot of different stuff just to, so they got choices so they can make a movie and post. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> it's not fun. When we first noticed Gerard was in um, Bounty Hunter. Uh, and so he's very engaging and tough. He's a real tough guy. 
So that's what a film like this really thrives on, calls for. And um, I think he's also a producer on this one. So he enjoys it. This particular film, it might make parts of the audience, older parts of the audience, think. Because there's a question in there, whether it gets to the screen or not, uh, is anybody's guess. But the question is, in so many words, why? Why do we have these enemies? How did we get in this position? 